Hey guys, how you doing? This is Todd out here. This time I'm outside. Gonna do a little demonstration here on how I make my wax cotton round fire starters. Um, so the things you're gonna need, of course, you're gonna need a little stove. I got this out here. You're gonna need some, some wax, some golf wax. This is paraffin. I have some cotton rounds that I got at a, at a drugstore. I have some Vaseline, jar of Vaseline that I got at a, at a drug store, grocery store. Okay, some tin foil to set your, your rounds on when you're done. I have an old coffee can here that I'm going to use to put the wax in. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the wax in the coffee can, get it melted. And then we're going to assemble our, uh, our uh, couple cotton rounds while we're get, waiting for that to melt. We'll dip them and get them into here. Right, guys of what I've done is I've turned the heat way way down on the um, on the burner and as you can see we're gonna let that wax melt in there until we have it all gone okay while this is melting and it's almost done you can see in there that it's almost done what I do is I take two cotton rounds now one side is smooth one side is fuzzy I put the fuzzy side on the inside okay so what I'll do is I'll take some Vaseline I get a nice good helping here and what I do is I just push it on the inside there put it on the inside take my other round put it together and just squish it around a little bit so that it goes out to the side that's all I do with it and I'll do a couple of those while that's melting okay the wax is all melted I've got some some rounds situated ready to go and I have some just some aluminum foil to set those on I also got a grabber here for this so what I'll do is I'll just take one, grab it in the tongs, grab it in the tongs, just dip it in so that it goes in all the way, and set it to the side. Okay? Set it on there. And we just do this for a couple of them. doesn't have to stay in there long, just long enough to saturate all of that, all of that wax, or all of that uh, cotton around. All right, two blocks of the paraffin wax, just two blocks, comes with four of them in there, two blocks in there, uh, we'll do about 20, but I've done these, so, and I crinkled up the uh, a tin foil so that they are raised up, they're not sticking on it, because these do stick a little bit when you take them off, so I crinkled it up just to give them points that they don't stick as bad. So we're gonna let these dry, and then I will bring one out, and we'll fire one up in about, I don't know, 20 minutes, and I'll show you how to light it and let it burn for a bit. Okay, we're over here at the good old fire pit, burn pit, whatever you want to call it. And here they are after they've dried for about 20 minutes. They're hard, okay? And what I do, oh, and these are waterproof as well. These are waterproof. So all you have to do is you just take it and rip it. And I'll show you those fibers. See those fibers there? They will take a spark. I just have a lighter, but that a ferro rod, they'll take right to it. We'll light it up. And look at that, it takes right to it. We'll set it down here. Start it over. We'll edit that out. Okay, and that's burning really, really good. We'll get it down here in the fire. We'll let it go. Now that will burn for about five or six minutes. Enough time for you to get other wood and, and uh, kindling on there to get it going. So there it is. That's my homemade fire thing. It's a variation on what other people have done, but there's mine. All right. Thanks for watching.